so those bad bacteria I was just talking about, gone. going on super excited for this video if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel I am so glad you are here I'm a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care and the creator of curly chemistry will help you guys understand your hair and ingredients from a cosmetic chemist perspective and I'll also help you guys start hair care lines as well no matter where you are in the world okay and today we are talking about onion water for hair and this has been trending for some time now and I want to talk about the science behind it why it actually makes sense and the best way to use it okay so stay tuned okay so first of all what is an onion an onion is a vegetable and it is readily available so it's very easy to get it's not like a mysterious ingredient I mean you don't even have to order it online they have some really cool chemistry within it that helps to promote healthy growing hair such as it has polyphenols now polyphenols are organic compounds within onions and they're also with other like herbs and plants and veggies and fruits as well but in this case polyphenols i want to talk about are ferulic acid and quercetin now ferulic acid is an antioxidant which is great for our hair and our scalp because the sun tends to release these things called free radicals and free radicals can interrupt and hinder our hair growth cycle. So that's what antioxidants do. They help to reduce free radicals. On top of that, ferulic acid is antimicrobial. So all the little bad bacteria like living on your scalp that can also hinder hair growth. So having onion juice that has ferulic acid and it can also help to reduce the bad bacteria on your scalp, okay? And then number two of the polyphenol family is quercetin. Quercetin is amazing also in rice water as well it is anti-inflammatory which is great because a lot of hair growth issues or hair loss issues i should say like alopecia comes from inflammation and inflammation has a tendency to cause inflammation around the follicle it can shrink the follicle which can then lead to thinning and then eventually hair loss but when you have an anti-inflammatory like quercetin it pretty much reverses that so that's just one of the amazing things about onion juice. Okay, number two in onions, I want to point out to you is that it has a high amount of sulfur. Sulfur is amazing. It is antimicrobial. It is antibacterial. It is antifungal. But on top of that, our hair is made up of sulfur. We know keratin, the protein that makes up our hair, but if we go a little bit deeper, we have these disulfide bonds that are made up of sulfur. So it is essential to our hair. Sulfur is known for strengthening the hair, strengthening the follicle, um, increasing the elasticity of our hair so that when we stretch our hair, when we style our hair, when we comb our hair, it doesn't easily break off. On top of that, it helps to improve our hair texture as well and it also helps with shine also and then the last really cool thing I want to share with you guys about onions is that it contains amino acids and amino acids are the building blocks of our hair very similar to sulfur you have amino acids that really make up the hair itself like the little chains and linkages of our hair is made up of amino acids and onions happen to have a nice amount of arginine within it arginine is actually known for supporting blood circulation around the hair follicle and as you guys know blood circulation is crucial for hair growth. So you're getting some great support from there. On top of that, because once again, it's essential to our hair, it's part of the building blocks of our hair, it's going to also improve our hair texture and promote shine as well, similar to sulfur. Okay, so now that you know what is within the onion, the chemistry of the onion, let's talk about how to incorporate this into your hair regimen. Now, you can do this multiple ways. You can do onion water, onion juice, or onion oil. You gotta find the one that works best for you. If I had to choose, I it would probably be between the onion water and the onion 
juice or taking an actual onion that is like just been sliced and kind of rubbing the juiciness of it on your scalp. It can get kind of messy, but most DIYs are messy anyway, but the results are worth it. So if you want to make onion water, I recommend chopping up an onion, like slicing it, peeling off the layers. You don't even have to dice it up and put it into boiling water. Let it boil, let it cool down. Once it cools down, you can literally rinse your hair with this onion water on your wash day. I recommend doing this after your shampoo when your scalp is fresh and clean. Apply the rinse, the onion water rinse. Let it stay on for about five or 10 minutes and then you can go ahead, rinse that off and proceed to your conditioner. Or if you don't mind the smell of it, you can use it as your final rinse, but that, you know, is completely up to you. Your second option would be onion juice where you are blending up the actual onion and taking that pulp with a cheesecloth and pretty much squeezing the cheesecloth and you're gonna get the onion juice itself. You can take this mixture, put it in like in a nozzle bottle, put it on your scalp along your roots and massage it in, leave it in five to 10 minutes and then rinse it off. And then your third option would be onion oil. Now this is pretty, probably the easiest option because you can go online right now and purchase onion oil. I will say that the majority of the research that I've seen have to do with the raw onion, like the raw onion itself and not really the oil version. But you know, some people are still getting results with onion oil as well. So you can still check it out. Something like this uses as like a pre-treatment. So when you do like your pre-pooing, like coconut oil on your hair, you can utilize the onion oil on your scalp leave that on and then rinse that off when you go into the shower to wash your hair. All right guys, hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new, especially when it comes to the chemistry of onions and how to incorporate it and how to try it on you know your hair and see if you get some good results. Once again, um, if you guys enjoyed this content, make sure to subscribe to this channel, Curly Chemistry, and make notifications are on to stay in the loop for more Curly Chemistry content. If you like this video, if you learn something new, please be sure to like this video as well. And of course, I have a question for you. Since we're talking about onion water, onion juice, onion oil, these are like DIY like recipes recipes and projects. I'm curious to know what DIY mix project thing that you have tried that you saw results with. Comment below, let us know what that thing is and I cannot wait to join the conversation with you. If you're interested in learning more about your hair and ingredients from a cosmetic chemist perspective, Definitely check out the Curly Girls Got the Hair Care Ingredients and the Natural Hair Care with some flashcards. These are really amazing resources that I created just for you to take your knowledge of hair and ingredients to the next level, okay? And if you're interested in starting a hair care line, no matter where you are in the world, you can work with me one-on-one -on -one and I have a link below for you as well. All right, guys, I love you and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.